ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Warframe. I'm your host of the most, as always, Francois878, and today we've got our review of the new Ash Koga Deluxe skin that was released in update 19.1. Probably the best thing to happen to Ash in update 19.1, but that's an entirely different video, to be honest. Uh, this new deluxe skin does come with a new skin for your Nikana, the Ryu skin. This new skin for your Nikana is amazing. I would recommend the bundle on that alone. Um, it is going to be exclusively the skin that I use on my Nikanas from this point forward. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that that decision will not change unless DE manages to put out an even more badass skin, which I doubt. Uh, it's it's just it's clean, it's organized, it has great detail, and it's very easy to color which is great. Uh, you know, everybody knows some skins, the way they set up the different colors is a pain. Uh, but getting to the, <laughs> the reason we're all here, the Koga skin, overall, I like this skin. It's got a, just a real simple, clean uh, look. It's, uh, there is one thing, kind of part of the skin that I, I can't <laughs> I can't stand but other than that it's a great skin it colors well and it just looks cool you know it fits Ash's theme of being this badass ninja warrior uh, solo player really really well the one thing I don't love about this skin is those gaudy awful uh, scorpion stingers on on the arms i know everyone's like oh this that'll be cool those will be cool thing no no they, they clip through everything they're I, I i mean they technically fit with ash's theme because he does have uh some alternate helmets that are called like the scorpion helmet and the locust helmet so stingers technically fit into the theme, but the theme of this skin should have been Stealth and Ninja. We have the Tom Clancy, you know, night vision goggle dots. We've got the ninja band across the, you know, on the head. You know, ninja, the ninja theme was enough. We didn't need to, like, shoehorn in the insect stingers, the scorpion stingers, too. I just think... They look a little goofy, or, you know, I don't know, maybe move them to his back or something, or to his shoulders, just somewhere where they're not going to clip through everything. They just, I don't know, they just don't look great. They look great, they clip through everything, and they're just kind of a weird, they feel tacked on, honestly. Other than that, though, the skin is easy to color, it looks great, it is a, definitely a <laughs> something unique and interesting uh, that will definitely be different from your uh, Ash Prime that you've been staring at for the last <laughs> the the last you know 60 hours. Uh, so I would give this skin eight uh, potatoes out of ten. It's an excellent skin, and I would highly recommend you get it if if only just for the Nikon skin honestly. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of this skin in the comment section below. Tell me if you think it looks great, if it looks terrible, what have you. Uh, and until next time, I've been your host of the most, as always, Francois878, signing off.